<laughs> Look good. My son likes that stuff. It's good stuff. I just ask, how much of a, a difference do you feel this week compared to last week in, in your health and how much better you feel going into this weekend? Uh, I feel good. Closer to full? Uh, I feel good. They letting you practice more than they were last week. They said they were kind of trying to hold you back a little bit. Are you going go out there? I feel good. Was it tough to get into a rhythm last week on just 17 snaps? Or were you no, nah, I've been playing for 12 years. I mean, one snap, 10 snaps, 20 snaps. Love football, so uh, I'm always in the rhythm when I step on the field. What's your rapport been like with Will since you've been back, you know, in practices and stuff? Because last year you guys were – pretty quickly got on the same page. Did you just kind of pick up where you left off? Uh, yeah, always. I think Will is a competitor. I think, uh, you know, having TB here as well kind of help us, uh, you know, learn this offense outside the coaches has helped as well. So, uh, you know, every day is, uh, is, is a grind, practicing, uh, you know, so every day working on it. Sorry I missed the first wave. How do you feel this week compared to last week? Uh, I feel good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Sauce Gardner is widely conceived on Sauce Gardner widely considered one of the best corners in the league. What do you see from him when you look at him on the tape? Um, I see a, a corner who could potentially be one of the best to do it. Uh, you know, so. Uh, we're, Remember we're, last year during a rain practice, you were giving some of the receivers the, the grip test with the football. A practice like this, how beneficial is it when you might be playing in the rain and have to play through those conditions? Uh, beneficial to what? Um, to be able to play in a real game in, in rain conditions like you might have to this week. All uh, right. Said, I'm sorry, what was the first part of your question? How beneficial is it to practice in the rain when you may have okay. to play in the rain? Got you, got you. Um, I think that helps. And I think, you know, we did some things also to kind of make the balls a little wetter. Uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't rain, but if it does, I think we did a good job of trying to simulate that today. After a week one loss, about a half a long season, don't, you know, don't fret too much on that. Uh, obviously, you know, it's... A lot of vets out there who's played a lot of football. And I don't think anyone had their head down after the game. Obviously, it wasn't what we wanted, but uh, we're playing a good football team this Sunday, so we got to turn the page. And luckily enough, we got a lot of guys who play a lot of football who's not going to dwell on it. What did you like about some of the looks and the potential? You can really start playing downhill, and I think we saw some of that in the second half. Mm -hmm. What did you like? you got and some of the plays you were able to make Sunday? Um, for me, last Sunday was just kind of get my feet wet. Um, I've said it before, I, I haven't played since last year. So for me, I just wanted to run into people, uh, get that game feel back in because I haven't played in so long. But I'm excited about the things Denar has us doing, has me doing, um, blitzing. Um, it's just been fun being a part of this defense. What do you see out of the Jets offense, guys? Like Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, what makes them difficult to deal with? Um, you said it, Brees and Garrett, they're game changers. Um, you definitely want to control them, you know, limit their production in the game. But then they have a um, quarterback who's played. He's done it all. He's um, been through the test of time, so he knows where to go with the ball. So we have to be smart. Disguises have to be well. Um, and just go out there and execute. And, you know, what happens, what happens. Denard uses the, the phrase attack the ball with violence. And he also talks about obnoxious communication. When you hear those phrases, what, what do you think of Communication is key just for this week because we got we're home, got the home crowd. They're going to be loud, um, and, and the communication is key just because we need to be on the same page. And then once we get on the same page, we can go be violent and be dominant. How do you feel the focus is on, on creating turnovers? How much do you feel that that's something? That I think it's emphasized right now. We didn't get any last week and, and played well, so we know that if we we come back, we put it put together another great game and get the ball, we'll be something. This linebacker room really can be, uh, especially with just Kenneth and Gibby and, and the way Denard kind of talked about the three of you contributing. Yep. I feel like we can be the best. I feel like I feel like we can be one of the best cores in this in this league. I truly feel like that. We just got to go out there and prove it and, and, and be who we know we are. You guys in that linebacker, how does the ability or inability to be mobile with Aaron Rodgers kind of affect things? Because it's kind of a question that right. no one knows. How well he can move. Yeah, no one knows how well he can move, um, and I guess we'll see uh, if he gets out there and he wants to move around a little bit Sunday. But um, for us, we're just attacking the game plan, just with him being, you know, more so in the pocket, not thinking he's going to run much. But we'll see when we get out there. It's more to be done. So what, what do you think you have to improve on? Then? I have a lot to improve on, from from technique, from everything. But I'm improving. Even though you gave up.
up two receptions, 18 yards, you still felt good play like that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely play that shit. I don't like giving up catches. Gotcha. I have so a high expectation. None. none at all. None at all. So curious, what was your reaction after that fourth down? Then? Oh, man, I was mad as hell, you know. I knew he was running that route, and, you know, I had got too nosy on him, and he won. Thanks for cheering. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Thanks man. Andy. Full game, and we can't just come out hot in the first half and then lay a goose egg in the second half. So uh, we just got to be better in the second half and learn how to finish. So. I know you probably don't look at grades or anything, but you graded out extremely well amongst the offensive linemen. Just what do you feel like you did well in that? And I'm sure there's something that you picked out that you need to work on. Yeah, yeah, there's always stuff to work on. Um, Especially with uh, Coach Callahan, I mean, he's always going to pick out the minor details and stuff, which is what I love about it. I mean, you're coming to work every day, and there's always stuff to work on, no matter no matter how good you think you got it. So, uh, uh, yeah, I thought it was a decent performance. Obviously, we didn't win, so it wasn't good enough. Um, and there's always stuff to work on. And all week, I mean, so far, these last two practices, uh, Coach Callahan's been picking those things out, and we've been working on them, so it's been good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I hit the earth and the earth won that battle, that's for sure. That hurt. Uh, I think that was the first time I've ever had the wind knocked out of me, so I was a little freaked out. But uh, yeah, we're doing all right. Practice has felt good so far. Um, just a little scary on Sunday. I've never had that happen, so it was good. Callahan talked about improving pass protection that you guys really had the run game locked down a little bit more in comparison. What can you guys do on that front to shore it up a little bit? Um, yeah, just communicate more. I mean, I think me and uh, NPF gave up a sack on one of those games. So just being able to be better on that and the communication of that. So uh, as far as the right side goes and just uh, uh, continue honing in on those mistakes that we did make in pass protection. And I think we've been doing that all week and uh, we're excited to put that into application into the game. So. You're still a young player yourself. How do you think the youth and uh, veteran presence is kind of balancing out now that you have a game under your belt? Um, yeah, I think it's balancing out well. I think we're all pretty young. I think we have a, a year one, a year two, a year three, a year four, and a year five on the starting line. So uh, uh, obviously as you climb in the years, Lloyd's got the most experience. He's got the most playing time. Peter's obviously played. Nick's played. I've played now. Um, so just having the youth that we do have, we don't have a guy over five years, but then also having guys that have been able to play in a lot of games, a lot of situations, I think it helps us out a lot, and it helps us uh, yeah, just continue to prepare and get ready for the next game. So.